everybody. I've got a 15 minute session I'm doing for a client. This is a follow up session. I'll put links to the previous sessions in the description if you're interested in checking them out. The goals for this one are, what does my higher self want me to focus on between now and our last session for optimal healing? Okay, give me a moment here. I'm just absorbing the energy of your request. So your last session was interesting. We were exploring addictions to sugar, alcohol, nicotine. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that. I'm gonna relax now and get tuned in. We'll find out what your higher self has to share. It's gonna be cool. Okay. Okay. The first thing that I see, it's also an experience too. I'm standing on, I'm sort of in a tight spot. It's almost like I'm breaking through an eggshell, but it's a lot thicker shell than this. And there's uh, some goopy slime that's uh, kind of oozing out. So I'm breaking through little cracks and pieces of this, what it's like an eggshell. And there's just some goopy slime. It's kind of on me, kind of part of the shell. And I'm breaking through slowly but surely. But something's at a standstill here. I also feel like I'm in a tight spot. Not because of being in an egg shell, but the egg is actually placed into a tight spot. So it just fits this egg. There's nowhere else to go. So once you break free, where are you going to go from here? You're going to be just standing in this tight spot. So what's the difference between having an eggshell to break through and now you have a tight spot? Where are you going to go? It's kind of like an internal battle, internal struggle going on. It's setting yourself free only to find yourself yet imprisoned. <sighs> Moving from one containment into another containment. So you, you have some energy in your solar plexus that just feels a bit dismal. Challenged. Angry. And there's uh, feelings of splintered or shattered and it's kind of stuck. Also in the solar plexus, I feel it the heart as well. It's tricky. It's, it's tough. It feels tough. Not that liberating, awesome feeling that we always want to feel, but this is processing tough stuff. So let's see what your higher self has to say about this. Your higher self is showing me that you are the eggshell and the goopy stuff. You're also the contained space outside of the eggshell. So instead of um, choosing to feel separate from the problems, to feel a part of them. To feel the, the relationship with problems is as close to you as yourself. And don't try to escape the problems. Actually submerge yourself in them. Feel yourself as a part of them. It's interesting because your higher self shows me this need to... The problem is out there and I'm trying to conquer it. Like the problem is this mountain I will climb and then reach the, the top or the other side. But really, you are the problem. So there's the problem out there, but actually bring the problem into yourself and experience it as a part of you. And I don't like to use the word problem because it's got this negative energy to it. It's a frustrating thing. It's a dirt we want to wipe off our skin. <laughs> it's a challenge. It's a negative challenge, but it's really not. It's part of your own identity. 
that you're now having to face through what you got going on in your life. It's a part of your own identity. So you need to love that part of your identity and not keep yourself or it separated, but actually bring it closer to your heart. The problem is not your enemy, it is your friend. This is creating emotion and a lot of movement in the mental body region. I feel this like sword, this very strong sword that just wants to pound down and stab into the ground and it's frustration. It's not wanting to hurt anybody or anything. It's just wanting to sort of stab down in frustration. And I say, don't, don't contain the frustration here in the energy world. You can be a volcanic explosion if you want to be. Just let it out. It's going to help neutralize uh, the other emotions like it's gonna help neutralize it all just let it out as loud and as proud as you can make it <laughs> okay this is really good because we're getting to the root of a real vulnerability it, it does make me really it makes my heart just sort of shake it makes me want to cry it makes me feel angry in my stomach and it's not physical it's very etheric energy body stuff okay but you could feel it. It could be definitely um, creating um, your physical reality to feel challenged. <sighs> I just keep having you look at this really big sword. Like it's, it, it probably weighs 50 pounds. It's like really thick and tall. It's pretty looking. It's just stabbing straight down into this wooden floor. And so I'm just having you look at the frustration, okay? And your expression of it. And I'm showing you that you can get it out more than this. You don't have to be polite or contained about it. Okay, this is good. This is a this is a relationship between the dark and light sides of yourself, the wounded and the it's interesting because usually the angelic side is the one that keeps getting wounded by the wounded side. <laughs> but the angelic, <laughs> it's a really interesting thing that goes on inside ourselves. But uh, the dark side is this like ultimate, like uh, twisted up wounded, wounded part that does not know how to heal. So it keeps shutting the light out. But it takes all of its anger and its twistedness and frustrations out on the angelic side who just keeps getting beat up over and over and over again. It has to be relentlessly patient. So who's really winning in this relationship? <laughs> angelic side puts up with it. Demonic side is just like can't heal the wounds. The pain is too much. And it's just like this, this constant battle. So I, I just see just all this energy just ripping this whole space apart. So we're beyond the eggshells and this contained space. It's just like, uh, like you're a tornado just ripping everything apart. And there's all this uh, energetic, like contained energy, anger that is just busting out. So it's hard to say, are you the, the angelic side that keeps getting beat up? Or are you the twisted dark side that's been wounded too many times that doesn't know how to heal it? <laughs> it's like a, this, this event, this big explosion going on, which is a release. It's good. It's releasing pent up energy. So it's all still pushing out. It's very much like a um, hurricane storm, a tornado, like extreme wind, the element of wind. And it's breaking everything apart, splintering everything. I was talking about how it felt like splintered energy got lodged in the solar plexus. It's like I keep seeing splinters all over the place because all the wood and the, the chips of the eggshell are just splintered and going everywhere. And they're just going round and round in a circle. And you're frustrated and you're sick of this. And you want somebody to pay for this, okay? That There's another way I can put what I'm talking about. So let me think about how I want to say this. Alright, so visualize this. All this pent-up energy is just blasting out of you blasting through all these contained spaces, okay? Energetic spaces. It's it's circulating all this energy into splinters and crushed up pieces now, so it's all just broken apart. 
And this is the ferociousness, the frustration and the anger that's trying to be contained into this polite stabbing of the ground when really it, it does need to come out in a big explosion for things to actually resolve. Otherwise, we're just containing it and just putting more splinters in the solar plexus. So, so you want somebody to answer to this, to pay for this, okay? Just hear me out here. So there's this shadow being that's over here on the other side that's very quiet and contained. And you look at this shadow being and blame it for everything, which is fine because we're releasing pent up frustrations. This is part of the healing process. So you're just yelling and getting it all out. And this shadow being is not saying anything, but it's very kind of neutral feeling. And this is really, I mean, you're pouring it out of your third eye too, and your in your forehead. It's not just third eye, it's like all mind energies, including crown. But it's also behind your human eyes and your tears are pouring. I mean, this is an old pent-up pocket here. It's just coming out. So just, you will exhaust eventually. So you're still pouring it out, but you are getting more exhausted. So it's going to stop here soon enough. There's a male energy to this um, shadow being, and you are female energy, and you are white, and this is black over here that's neutral. And you are coming forward as though you are made of sharp pieces. Lots of sharp pieces. And this is helping to release energy from your heart too. And you're cornering this shadow man who's totally neutral, is not emitting any frequencies of evil or anything, or, or even love, just totally neutral, just totally neutral. And so I'm slowing down time and I'm asking you what you feel that this shadow being has done that needs to be reconciled. You said that he needs to speak up. He never speaks up. He needs to say what he needs to say. He just chooses not to say it. And that causes me a lot of problem, a lot of pain and suffering. He needs to speak. So she's echoing to me. Have you ever been in a situation where you're kind of like in turmoil on the inside? But if you say how you really feel inside, you could become like insane for a minute <laughs> because it's just so much pent up feelings, but you just don't say anything at all because you're going to be the bigger person kind of thing. It, she's like attacking the shadow man because he needs to speak. He needs to say something that he's not saying. By not saying it, he's swallowing the, all this turmoil and pain down and she's the one that has to endure it. And she's going to hurt him in order to get him to say something. So she will hurt him. Because she needs him to speak. If he won't speak, then she just keeps getting tortured by all this energy that's just not being expressed. So this neutral guy is torturing her by not doing the thing he needs to do, which is to express himself. This is all going on inside yourself, okay? She's really fed up with life, fed up with problems, fed up with, you know, all of that she has to, all the burden she has to go through. That just keeps getting kind of swallowed down, and she now is the one getting tortured by that. He uh, starts to change his energy, and I see a man who's, whose eyes have been sewn shut. And he's so exhausted and weary. And his mouth is sewn shut as well. And he hides in the corner and says, Please don't hurt me. I can't endure the pain anymore. I'm exhausted. He looks like the skin's been actually removed, peeled off of his body. She 
she stops and she's shocked right now. <coughs> she didn't realize that was what was going on. That's why he was in the shadow, so she wouldn't see how bad it had gotten. And he's, he's sending her information that he doesn't know what to do to help her. Because he doesn't know how to change his own circumstances. So she can't just blame him for everything. He really doesn't innocently, does not know how to change. He doesn't know how to open up. He doesn't know. So please stop hurting me. She says, I can't switch places with you. Because she's showing him how expressive she is. She has so much she needs to say. But she can't be him. But she's sending the information to him and he's not letting it go anywhere. So it's just sort of eating her alive. and Ripping her apart. She says, you have to open up. You have to. And you choosing not to open up is now destroying you as well as me. We're just being destroyed because you can't do the thing you need to do, which is to open up. I will say the energies are extremely relaxed. And this is becoming what is simply a conversation, a long overdue internal communication between different parts of yourself, okay? Bringing this into balance is going to inspire you to have a new relationship with the physical reality, with our world. So you have to ask yourself, what is it that you are holding yourself back from expressing, okay? And doing that is creating suffering for both sides the one that has to express the information and the one that keeps saying, you need to say this, you need to say this. No, I'm not, I'm not going to say that. I'm not ready to say that yet. No, I'm not going to do that yet. So it's, it's basically eating both sides up. And so you just think about how this may be paralleling with something in your life and it's time to explore changing that. So if we can get this man to open his mouth and his eyes in order to express himself, it's going to alleviate the pressure between the, this, these relationships, okay? It's already a lot calmer. It's like a conversation that needed to happen years ago finally happens, and it starts out really outrageous and now is calming down to what is too level-headed adults <laughs> that can just say both sides of their story and now work through it together instead of i feel this way over here in my secret corner i feel this way over here in my secret corner and nobody's actually coming together to actually say i feel this way oh i feel this way okay what can we do to help each other out <laughs> feels a lot better I'm starting to see he's still kind of eyes are sewn and the mouth is sewn. But she, she's really, she, her demeanor's completely calmed down and she's giving him a hug. His skin is still very sore, like he's been through a lot. But the love is something that he needs... He needs patience and love and support. So they're showing me what is like a, a light that is developing between these two. So they're basically holding each other and they're kind of in a way mimicking one. It's like a yin yang thing, like they're two, but yet when they, they hold each other or they're in the circle, they're one. 
and there's a starlight that's starting to develop in the inside and it's getting brighter and brighter. And they're just letting the starlight envelop them both. And they're both sort of letting go of their attachments to their unique sufferings and they're not judging the other. They're just letting those attachments go and letting themselves just be consumed by the love and the light of all source energy, unconditional love, that sort of thing. It's really brightening your heart and your solar plexus. It's helping you to, it feels like let a let, major letting go of an inner turmoil. And it's giving your mind a new sense of clarity, okay? And that's not just third eye and crown. It's, it, it is its third eye, its crown, but it's also what you could define as the mind. So it's clarity. It feels like clarity. That's really good. <laughs> all right, that's all I can share. Thank you so much for this experience. It's a real pleasure to work with you and thank you for sharing as well. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, have a great day, everybody.